Welcome back to Expo Op channel. Myself Rakesh and today in this UiPath tutorial, we are going to learn about a very common error which is known as could not find an asset with this name. So you have seen you have gone to your UiPath orchestrator and you have already created an asset with the name and you have al also taken the name exactly without any spelling mistake and you have written in the get credential activity. But why this activity says that it could not find an asset? Do you know the reason? It's a very simple reason and I have seen many people on UiPath forum who are having this problem. So I'm telling you this is such a simple answer to it. So let me tell you what is the cause of it and how we are creating this error. Actually, we are creating this error and how we can fix it. Let's see that. So first of all, what you do, you generally go to, you launch the cloud.uipath.com, which is your UiPath cloud platform. And then you have the option to hit on the orchestrator. So you launch the orchestrator. Now what happens after you launch the orchestrator, your main goal is to create an asset, right? So you clicked on it. And now here you see assets. So generally what people would do, they will hit on the assets. Okay. So the asset, they will click on it and they will click on add asset and they are going to create any kind of asset. It could be a credential asset or it could be text asset. So any kind of asset. So similar way, I have created an asset. So Excel sheet password. And once I have created the asset, I'm trying to use it here, but there's a problem. Do you know, did you get it? Why the problem is coming? Let me tell you the solution. The problem is coming if you look at this asset was created in the shade folder where it is created it's created in the shade folder and your UiPath studio if you look at it is using a IT folder I have created a folder you may be having default folder okay so I have created in a different folder so if I go back to orchestrator I have my IT folder you may be having a default folder right in the shade folder so what I should do to fix the problem the only thing that I should do is the in the UiPath studio, if I'm using IT folder and the asset is coming from the shared folder, all I have to do is switch to shared. So the moment I switch to shared, okay, the moment I have shared, switch it to shared and the moment I run it, this error won't come. Reason being, now it can find the asset name because it is going to the specific folder and you can see the execution will complete without any error. You saw it, right? The execution got completed without any kind of an error. So that is the problem. So what one should do? Let's say I do not want to create a asset. So the moment you hit on orchestrator, do not go about creating an asset without looking which folder you are in. Okay. So I should click on my folder or my workspace where I wanted to create an asset. I would click on this and then hit on asset. And here I need to create an asset. So be careful and see where your UiPath studio is connected. Accordingly, you create an asset. So that is the solution. If you do this, this error won't come. Okay. In case you wanted to use the shared one, then you can all, of course, change it to shared. I wanted to use it in the IT folder. Then I should keep the studio in the IT folder. And similar way, while creating asset or before creating asset, I should go to my folder and then hit on assets and then create an asset and this asset will be created in the IT folder. Remember, okay, you can see it here. It is there in the IT folder. If you hit on shared, what happens? You can see on the top it has changed to shared, right? So this should be, you should carefully watch it while creating assets. So if you implement this solution, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to fix this error which says could not find the asset name. Thank you guys for watching this. We are going to come up with more such interesting and conceptual knowledge for you to help improve the UiPath knowledge. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.